Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and it's Sunday so I'm here with Scrap Lift Craft Noon, a hop where we find something that inspires us like this amazing layout by Sarah and we scrap lift it and I did pick this one. Most people who know me know that I have an obsession with rainbows and so it probably wouldn't be too far to think realize it was me um i have these pictures from my birthday at work back in august and they are perfect to use this rainbow um beautiful design and i'm going to use the, the bella boulevard birthday bash i'm talking too fast y'all sorry um anyway so i've got some papers to make like the little circular bit like they've got she's got on her layout i also have this vicky booten uh, mixed media paper because i'm going to be using a bunch of that spray up there and then i've got some bits and pieces and scraps plus i've got like the chipboard the sticker sheet the embellishments some puffies some all the things and then i have lots of ink and i actually double the amount of ink i use um and so if i can i'll tell you all of them if you've got questions about any of them that i use let me know they the ones i selected went really really well with this collection i was pretty darn thrilled with that so but i've pulled pinwheels and stars not just stars like she has on hers and so i'm really excited about that so I got my papers, my embellishments, lots and lots of inks and fun. I have these fun pictures of my birthday party and this awesome layout. So let's see how this goes. So like I said, I started with a Vicky Booten mixed media paper. I put this um, cardboard down so that I could go all the way to the bottom with the purple. Now I do start in the bottom and go up. And these are Delusions Shimmer Sprays by Diane Reevely. And I started with Crushed Grape. But I also alternate and use a little bit of Distress Oxides by Tim Holtz. So my light blue is Tumbled Glass. And then the next color up is another Delusion Shimmer Spray Vibrant Turquoise. And then, of course, now it's turned around upside down because I'm putting on the pink that I use. But then that green green is Lucky Clover by Tim um, Holtz. And then the yellow is a mustard seed. And then that dark orange is also a shimmer spray and it's Tangerine Dream. And then the pink I just put on is pickled Picked Raspberry by Tim Holtz. And the red is Cherry Pie and that is also a Delusion Shimmer Spray. And I love adding those together because it gives you a little bit of a rest from the shine um, when there is, you know, just that flat color by Tim Holtz. But I love adding that shine on there because it makes me quite happy um, and then I'm going to bring in twice as many colors because I do splatters which you can already see are done I let them dry um, in other colors that were either a little darker or a little lighter so that they would kind of stand out sorry I'm printing pictures and um, my printer keeps thinking it's out of print paper but it's not and then it's like oh yeah here's paper <sighs> it's just trying to drive me crazy but anyway, so I start by putting down my picture. I have cut my paper, that circle, at six inches and just under, like, I think I get not a whole half inch, but like a quarter of an inch or so different because I wanted to have, you know, a kind of thick border, but I didn't want it to be too thick because I distressed the circles, the inside one and the outside. I didn't do the rainbow stripes. I decided I was going to do this um, confetti paper. And so I did. And then I add in some little embellishments, like that's a star I fussy cut from some paper. And it only had a little piece of it, so I just tucked it in. And then I put that cake because it has the little pinwheels on top of it. I thought that would work really well where she has um, the heart over there. My printer's still trying to figure out where the paper is, I swear. Um, so anyway, what I do with my pinwheels that are from the ephemera bits... I take my fingernail or my Tim Holtz distress tool, depending on if it was one of the bigger ones or the smaller ones, and I distress them. She has hers what looks like um, raised, and I kind of wish I would have done some um, fun foam and raised some of mine, but I distress them, so that gives them a little bit of a dimension. Not as much as hers, um, and she definitely has a whole lot more on hers, but I am perfectly thrilled with the way that it turned out. I love getting these on here. I don't always really know what to do with things like these little pinwheels. So I used every single one that I had and then all the stars um, that I felt like I needed to kind of fill in. I wanted to have like at least three or four little things in each of the colors. 
And so if I didn't have a star or a pinwheel, I think I add a heart somewhere or a couple places in there. And then I have like some um, confetti from the puffies that I'm going to add towards the end. So on her layout, she has this really pretty happy birthday at the top and bottom. And I think that's so pretty, but I use this hooray because I've already used the happy birthday from this collection. And I'm going to title it Rainbow Birthday um, because, well, that's exactly what I had. <laughs> Rainbow, they were everywhere. My birthday hat. Um, was rainbow. The, there were rainbow um, garland hanging around my, um, that top picture on the left is my board. I have a bulletin board in my office and I have used it as pretty much a large scrapbook. Um, and I just take pictures in there that make me happy and then I just keep adding to them. And I started actually doing it in rainbow order. So i matted every picture and at the top it's red and then goes down from there to purple at the bottom and then there's going to be some clouds once I get all those pictures put on there so yeah like I really like rainbows you all um I do she has these dots that I just put down past rainbow and down a little further I use my black enamel accents from um from ranger she has hers in color and it's gorgeous but I didn't have enough colors that I felt like we're going to like cooperate you know I could have used these liquid inks and just made little dots but sometimes they run and bleed and I just didn't want that so I thought because I've matted my picture in black as well as in that pink plaid um, which I did distress both of those by the way I thought that black dots there would be fine because it just brings a little bit more black in and I also am using these Tim Holtz wordy bits um, to title my layout or to, you know, just add some wordy things on here. So something like being happy and spreading, throwing sparkles or confetti around or something like that. So um, anyway, there's Sarah's layout again. It's <laughs> so gorgeous. I am thrilled with the way mine turned out. I love the Delusion Shimmer Sprays and how shiny they are. I love adding all these little bits and pieces. Um, color matching and stuff like that is so much fun. And I enjoy doing that, as you probably know. So I hope you'll go check out Sarah. Her information will be below in the description box, as well as a link to the playlist for all the lovely ladies that I scrap lift with and just adore. And I can't wait to see the fun, gorgeous things and the hot messes that they've made because I still have purple and blue all over my hands and arms right now. So I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up if you like this video or my layout or both. And I'd love it if you'd come back and see me. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. And happy scrapping.